Hi everybody, this is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. Um, this is a quick uh, Gmail app tutorial for the iPad. Um, so if if you're new to the iPad 2 or the iPad 3, or you shouldn't be new to Gmail either, or if you're in uh, if you're in education, but the, putting the two together, it's a little bit. Um, there's been a couple changes over the past uh, few months, so this tutorial goes through, um, which kind of explains that to you. So when you first download the Gmail app, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the App Store, you're going to search for Gmail, um, and it's the little um, letter that has the M outlined uh, for mail, and you'll download that using your Apple ID and password and all that stuff, and then what you're going to do is you're going to log in to your Gmail account, um, either using your, your personal email or your uh, Jordan District domain specific or school district uh, specific domain uh, email. And what you're going to do is it's going to pull up something like this. It's going to allow you to log in to multiple accounts at one time on the iPad. Um, it's also going to ask, and I've already pushed OK, uh, if it's going, if you will allow it to have uh, push notifications. Um, essentially, what it'll do is it'll, you know, maybe turn on your lights and a little uh, ding, you know, and you can change all that in your settings. Um, but this is essentially what it's going to look like. Um, so it's going to ask you if you want to manage your accounts, choose which accounts you want to sign in for. Um, and so what I'm actually do is I'm going to start the tour so you can see that tour as I'm recording um, basically where it's going to take you. So I clicked on start tour. Um, what you're going to have is um, you can attach from Google Drive. Um, uh, this is something new that they've actually allowed you to do is you can send um, drive files up to one terabyte directly from Gmail using Drive. Um, not attachments in Gmail but in Drive, which we um, just did a tutorial on that as well. Um, we're gonna click Next. Um, you can save attachments to Drive so you can access them and share from any, uh, access them and share them from any device. The great thing about this is, is the, the Google platform is um, device friendly. It goes on every device. Um, so I actually have a Android phone, I have an iPad, and then I have a Mac and I can share files between the three of them using Google Drive. Um, so instead of saving, let's say you, you, you have an attachment or a PDF that you want to save on your computer or your iPad, you can save it right in Google Drive and you can now attach things, and this is, it's been this way for about a year, uh, you can attach things straight from uh, Google Drive or the old fashioned attachment where you go find it on your computer and attach that document as well. Um, so then the next one, um, is you know changing your profile profile picture very easy to do um, take a selfie <laughs> on your iPad or your phone and you can actually upload that straight to your um, the Gmail picture so when you send an email um, they'll be able to see who it's coming from and there's a little picture of you there um, or you can upload pictures that you already have so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to my inbox um, and what you'll see here is you'll see that it's set up a little bit different, right, than the traditional inbox. Um, so this is the desktop version. Oops, excuse me. Um, and this is the iPad version. And what you're gonna be able to do is, um, basically Gmail recognize that people, you have a one swipe email. So you can't see what I'm doing, but if I want to take an email, um, I can actually just archive it right from there and click on it. Um, now I can go back and undo it right down here when I click on the X, it'll undo it and it'll pack back up. But, um, so this is your inbox here. Um, here's all of your, um, basically everything and then as you push on this little arrow, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring back um, all of your tabs that you would have over in your classic, let me see if I can get both up here at the same time. Sorry, didn't mean to make you dizzy. Your classic um, format here, right? So you have your label, sent, draft, important, and then if you go down um, you'll have all of the, the groups that you have. Now one thing that I do at the beginning of every year um, when I have, you know, so we're on domain specific, um, I actually 
break up my class periods, emails by class period. And that's what you can see here. Um, this is from two years ago when I taught seventh grade, is I have my first period, second period, third period emails. And so if I need to email a specific class something, I can do that without sending it to all of the other classes. And this is great if you have um, multiple preps. Whereas this year I have three different pre or two different preps, I can email those groups of students different assignments or link them to different things. Um, and essentially here on the iPad, um, this is where you sign in and out. Um, you know, you can change all of your stuff here. Um, you know, I don't have a photo connected yet, but um, let me close this. Essentially, when you click on that, everything's gonna go away. Up here, you have um, your archive button. So if you need to label it, move it, um, expand it, mark as read, if you need to print it, those are your typical options that you would have in your regular Gmail. Um, obviously, the trash can, um, which is right here. Um, and then you have the archive button, which is right there. So that is archived. It, um, so um, essentially the same. Um, the nice thing is you can have multiple accounts. So down in the bottom left-hand corner, if you see right down here, I'm gonna click on it. There's a little guy with a, or a person with a settings. Um, what you can do is you can add multiple accounts to your iPad. Um, so you can have a personal account on there, you can have the school account, work account, whatever you have. Um, I usually try and keep my iPad just school stuff, um, and then I use my phone for personal. Um, that's just my preference. I mean, I know a lot of teachers that have both, um, and they have you know multiple accounts on their iPad. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, you can email me. Um, the email is right here, obviously, spencer.campbell at jordandistrict.org. Thanks for watching and have a great day.